Alright, welcome to Catalyst. Uh, my goal here is just to give you a very quick overview of uh, what I've been working on. Um, still pretty rough form and uh, a lot of it, it's kind of slow at the moment, but uh, it, it's getting there. Uh, so this is built on top of Near Wallet, uh, extending Near Wallet uh, with a ceramic IDX and IPFS integration, uh, as well as integration with uh, the Mullica V2 DAO, uh, which we've extended and and uh, made a little bit different. Uh, so uh, we're just going to start here with uh, with uh, the profile support, which is enabled by Ceramic IDX. Uh, so for instance, you'll notice the avatar here. Uh, each near account is now linked to a Ceramic uh, IDX uh, did. Um, and this happens uh, right when the, the account is created or imported. But it allows us to produce uh, rich profiles uh, for people. So we've got uh, uh, avatars here. Uh, I've got their 3ID uh, which is linked up and of course we can extend this uh, to include any other kind of information we want as well. So we can edit a profile. Um, we'll just do a quick uh, change of the avatar here. Let's see how it, uh, how it changes things up. If you think about this, it uh, enables uh, uh, people to create uh, personas that are, are linked uh, to their, their near account that they can use within, uh, within different communities. And that'll be important in a minute when we consider uh, the DAOs that uh, um, this uh, platform allows. And I'm just going to change that back uh, quickly before we head off. Or not. Leave it at that. Um, so from here, uh, we'll just take a quick look at uh, at uh, what it takes to create a DAO. Uh, so we're basing uh, the DAOs on uh, different governance models uh, to start with, and these are baseline configurations that um, people will then be able to uh, submit configuration proposals for in the DAO to, to change in the future. Uh, so, for instance, if we wanted to create a democracy DAO, uh, we'd simply come in here, and put in some some information for it. Uh, set some initial initialization settings, which are explained here, and currently takes uh, 10 year to cover the cost of storage for, for a DAO. With a democracy DAO, everybody's getting a uh, one, one vote per person, um, and that's kind of the baseline things that start. So create the DAO. This will take a couple of minutes uh, for it to move through everything that's doing. Uh, it's basically setting up the DAO. There's a factory in the background here. Uh, that's uh, deploying the DAO code to a new account, which becomes point DAO dot uh, factory dot point dot testnet. Uh, it sets up all, all the initialization settings and it sets the initial user or member as the the summoner of the DAO. Of course, this is all this is being hooked into ceramic. Uh, Smart Docs and IDX um, to uh, to provide the data that's uh, required for the DAO. And unfortunately, it takes a few moments. So there's a bunch of UI stuff uh, that still needs to be done with this uh, to make it uh, make it more make it easier for people to understand as to, to what's going on during these waiting periods. You can see over here on the left that uh, it's doing stuff. Or on the right, sorry. And we've successfully created a democracy DAO. So now if we went over here and we take a look at uh, exploring the DAOs, it will load up Refresh here. I said there's still lots of work to do on the UI, so it's functional. However, there's a lot of polish that still needs to go into it. 
So uh, in terms of being able to uh, explore the DAOs that are that are running, uh, this is kind of the genesis of that area. And the idea will be that uh, DAOs will be searchable and provide information and, and ranking and and uh, you know an indication of how much is being managed by them, how many members they have, uh, allowing some discoverability of the DAOs and, and allowing people to get involved in, in different uh, different causes or whatnot. Uh, so here's one that uh, we just created. Uh, these are ones that were created before uh, as part of the testing, but uh, we'll take a, a look at this one. And this takes us into the DAO that was deployed there. And we should see in a minute uh, the first member pop up. Here comes with the information. And of course, I deployed it. Uh, therefore, it's pulling in my profile from uh, from the Ceramic IDX and using that uh, for the member cards. Uh, summoned from this account, and as you can see, I've got one share and 100% of the of the voting power. It's also pulling in near price data uh, so that we can keep track of the the value of the the funds and whatnot. Uh, so we're just going to switch to a new user here. Okay, I'm going to hit refresh so that we uh, update some of the stuff that's not updating on its own at the moment. As you can see, a new profile up here uh, for the current account, but uh, it's still calling in the, the member that uh, had the old one. I just want to submit a quick proposal for a new member proposal. Um, because it's a democracy DAO, any contribution that they make is going to be matched uh, by shares that they're given, so that uh, keeps track of the of the um, what portion of the fund is theirs. Uh, should so you know they decide to rage quit at some point they can take out uh, all their their funds and go away and we'll submit that proposal you'll notice this is all integrated with the members near account which just updated um, sending uh, the near over to into escrow and it's keeping track of periods this, you'll see this increment uh, every now and again based on the, the period setting that uh, it's currently 30 seconds I believe just gonna hit refresh here again As you can see, we now have one member and one proposal that uh, is awaiting a sponsor, and then it'll go through the from there goes through the rest of the the cycle, um, getting sponsored, voting. Once voting's done, uh, it automatically uh, gets processed uh, and completed, and funds dispersed. And now uh, that's really different than uh, what uh, I've already previously shown with respect to the the Moloch, uh, V2 DAO that uh, was ported over here. Uh, so, um, yeah, I think that's a, that's a good place to, to stop for now. Oh, one other last thing I'll show here. I'll just switch back to the this proposal or to this, uh, this account.
So, uh, as I mentioned, everything is configurable. Um, so all these are the, the dial settings that, uh, that can be, right now they're manageable by uh, this account, uh, but in the, the future this will be a config uh, proposal that they, people can submit to change how the DAO is set up. So even though it was based on uh, the governance model that it had in the, in the first place, it can uh, change and evolve over time as, a, as, a, as suited for, for that specific community. Uh, so that is Catalyst at the, at the moment. And, uh, you know, lots more to come, um, but uh, that's currently where we're at. And uh, I'll give you a, a sneak preview of what, what we've been working on. Thanks.